Back in Storyline, let's open up the Variables panel and create a new variable called GPT response. Now in our project, let's set up the response layer which we created earlier, ready to display the response message content value to the user. I'll go ahead and create a new shape to wipe in at the one second mark on this layer that will contain the GPT response variable reference. Let's go back onto the submitting response layer and add a new trigger to resume the timeline on the layer when the GPT response variable changes. And add a trigger to show the response layer when the timeline ends. OK, let's open up our execute JavaScript code once more and take a look at the section where we currently have all response JSON data being logged to the browser console. I'm going to comment this line out at this moment as I don't really need to see this in the console anymore. And now underneath this, I will create a new variable called GPT underscore content and feed in the value data dot data dot choices with zero in square brackets dot message dot content. You will remember all of the layers that we had to drill down into the response when viewing in the console. Well, this is effectively performing the same action, but in our code. Just in case there is any white space included at the beginning or end of our GPT underscore content variable string, we can remove this by typing GPT underscore content equals GPT underscore content dot trim. Open close parentheses and a semicolon. And now we are ready to store this string into our GPT response text variable in Storyline using the set var function. So I will type player dot set var open and close parentheses and within the parentheses I'll type double quotes GPT response, comma, and GPT underscore content. And finish the line with a semicolon. We're all set, so let's OK out of this and save the project and publish once again to the desktop. Our server is still running in Visual Studio Code, so we're good to open the Storyline activity in our browser. Let's type the same question once again and see what happens this time. The please wait message appears initially. And there we go. After only a very short time, the response has been returned from our server application, which has been placed into a new storyline variable that is being displayed on screen to the user.